You're checking out podcast three of three in our mini documentary series of growing Property Llama into a billion dollar company. So hopefully you've checked out the first two podcasts. I know a lot of people around Denver and Colorado have. I've had some fascinating conversations about it. But in today's podcast, I wanna be very, very much focused on why we are raising money for Property Llama and what we're gonna be doing for it. So our goal here is to raise a few million dollars uh, in this initial fundraising round of Property Llama to then dump gasoline on the fire. What do I mean by that? Well, when we raise these couple million dollars, we don't need it to go out there and buy a bunch of office space or lease it or buy a bunch of computers or spend millions of dollars in development costs. No, we are just gonna take the money and dump it into sales and marketing to take the blueprint we have and increase it and go from Denver and Colorado to a national level. And that's one of the things that makes me so excited to document about this, so excited to keep investing more of my time and money and resources in the property llama, and so excited to go out there and start raising money for it and get more investors on board because we have the winning formula and we just have to go out there and put more inputs to get more outputs. All right, so let's break down what we need in terms of marketing and sales. So I'll start off with the marketing component on here. And we have three major legs to our marketing stool on how we're gonna bring in new users to the system and essentially more eyeballs to what we're doing. The first is our Portfolio Analysis Masterminds or PAMs for short. We've done two of these. The first was in I think quarter one of 2022. And that was really like our first user push into using Property Llama and actually walking people through the financial planning concepts. So it was a bit bumpy, like, you know, every initial launch you do, but here's the reality of it. We had like a close to 150 people go through it and it was a huge success. We had there like, holy smokes, we have something. We gotta go out there and just dump more resources into it. We realized we had a winning formula with Property Llama on our hands. So we kept growing, we took feedback. And then in quarter three, quarter four of last year, we did our second portfolio analysis mastermind. And this one, we had like 600 plus people register for it. So just huge growth on there. It was, you know, what, five or six times bigger than the first one. And it was just a better product, a better service. And what we realized from that is, you know, hey, we learned a lot on how to deliver it, improve the system, but here's what most important. We are now seeing a lot of those users, those conversations, that education turn into transactions, turn into investors going out there and rebalance their portfolio, making moves, which is great for the investor because it helps them go out there and do what's best for them. It's also great for the real estate professionals who can go out there and help them do the transactions they need. So it's a win for the investor and also win for the real estate professionals and showing it's a very vital tool the education and the software, a very vital tool, help them go out there and work with their clients. So we want to go out there and just 10X us doing PAMs. Rather than us just doing it to our own audience and list, uh, which is what we have been doing, we need to go out there and start taking it national, start taking it on the road. So we're going to take that concept and put more resources. Uh, so money and some dedicated people go out there and start creating ad funnels to it. We're gonna go out there and start working with other local real estate professionals, other markets. So we can go out there and start getting other people uh, plugged in the program and understanding the concepts of it. So more PAMs is, you know, the first one. And if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link into the show notes so you can see, but essentially it's a 30 day real estate financial planning bootcamp. People come in, learn the concepts. They plug in their, uh, their properties of software. They learn what they need to know and figure out what moves they can make in their portfolio to achieve their goals. Massive, massive wins on there. All right, the second one is working with more real estate agents. Agents are just such a critical piece to go out there and uh, helping the local real estate investor make the best moves. I think so many people forget about, especially Silicon Valley and all these tech startups is, yeah, there's a lot of things that tech can do and it's amazing at scaling, but real estate really is that local, local, local opinion, that knowledge, like it is so hyper local that tech and AI have a very limited uh, amount of uh, scale they can do on there because, hey, you take a piece of tech, compare that to an agent that spent 20 years investing and being an agent in a local market. It's very hard to compete. They just have that knowledge that tech can't scale, at least quite scale yet. 
So the second part of a growth plan is going out there and working with a lot more agents that are already investor-friendly agents or wanna become more investor-friendly agents. So we launched our program in actually January of this year, and we've done three uh, groups of agents, about 15 agents each. We start off very focused groups so we could uh, really help them implement this in their business. Won't go into details, but it's been a massive success, a massive win. If you've seen any webinars or emails about the seven figure investor agent, that's the program I'm talking about there. So what that program does, it's essentially a business in the box where I've done here you know, at the Envision Advisors and helping people understand their real estate financial uh, you know, concepts and what they can do there to go out there and make moves in their portfolio. So we have uh, just concluded our third one, like I said, massive win, where we have uh, in this last round of agents, you know, well above 50% fully implementing it into their business, uh, fully building a pipeline of investor transactions uh, in the pipeline that will materialize for the next couple months to year or so. And so we're seeing the pipeline there, but most importantly, we're getting great feedback from the agents where it's helping them go out there and engage more clients. It's building more pipeline for them, which again, that's the goal of the system. That's the goal of the education is helping investors realize, hey, here's why, here's my portfolio. What can I do with it? And you bring in the concepts, the software, obviously other key people, but you bring in the agent that knows the market, that knows their property, that knows in what property manager bringing in for rent comps, that knows the trends, all this stuff. Well, now you have this tech perspective. You have the real estate financial planning concepts in here. We also have the local knowledge that is the hardest thing to go out there and replicate. So part two, or uh, leg number two, I should say, is really focusing on real estate agents to go out there and help them scale their business and do more work with their investor clients. All right, the third one uh, is just more mass media education. And this is the content marketing that you know I've been doing. Uh, it's the educational uh, videos and podcasts and articles. We know what we've done here through like the Denver channels and the Colorado channels. You know, people want more information on there. So as we go out there and raise money for Property Llama, we're just gonna go out there and take the real estate financial planning concepts and start new channels, start new education, and just dump resources into growing that brand. Because the local brands we have are great, but they're gonna stay local here for Denver and Colorado. And all these financial planning concepts, well, these can be applied nationwide. So we're gonna keep doing more mass media education on there. Uh, and not just us going out there and starting a new podcast and YouTube videos. Of course, we'll do all that. Um, I can't go into more details at the moment for uh, a lot of the people we lined up, uh, some of the potential uh, shows. Uh, but just in terms of like people in the industry from experts and media outlets, like we have a stacked team, a stacked level, of, like I'll call them like key partners to go out there and help us get this message out here. I'll go into more details on that on our webinar on Thursday. We're gonna couple those details finalized right now. But doing all doing that mass media education is such a great way for brand awareness. And again, it starts bringing more people in the funnel. We have those marketing things on there. In addition to doing uh, all the content, all the advertising, we'll be putting a big emphasis on growth marketing. And this is bringing in you know more resources, more team and putting more money into going out there and you know split testing and doing deep analytics uh, and just going out there and taking a scientific approach to how do we go out there and expand this because we have the recipe here in Denver we have the recipe in Colorado now we just have to go out there and replicate it which is not a hard thing to do it just takes you know three to six months to start really figuring things out it also takes some money to hire people uh, and also spend money on advertising so we can go out there and get more eyeballs in the system all right so that's marketing. Uh, the other part to where a lot of our money in the fundraising from Prop Llama will go to is building out the sales channel. And when I say sales channel, uh, the best way to think about this is kind of what, what I do and some of my key team members do, where we sit there and yeah, we're licensed brokers, but we're not out there on the day-to-day -day transactions. We're doing more of the real estate financial advisory. Hey, let's come in. Let's talk about your strategy. What are your goals? Let's review your portfolio. And you know, from what we've been doing the last couple of years, um, it's very rare that you have someone that can be a great agent and a great uh, real estate financial advisor. And so really separating those two channels out of it has become clear to me as the way we can scale this and the best way to provide the best service to 
uh, the client. Like I love talking to people about their portfolio and strategy and helping them you know, map out the moves and hey, do this on chessboard, do this, do this, do this. And I don't have the ability or desire to go out there and be a great agent writing offers, showing properties, negotiating. It's not my strength um, nor my interest. And the other thing too, as we grow, it's very hard for someone to be, hey, are you an advisor first or agent first? So we're gonna be focusing a lot on building out the advisor channel because we need that here for our local channels. But again, as we start doing more of those marketing uh, strategies, the PAMs, the agent outreach, the mass media, we need an incredibly talented uh, sales force, advisory force uh, to go out there and help people understand their moves, understand their portfolio and help them make the right moves. So we have uh, a big plan and I got, again, a couple other people that are, we're in the final stage of figuring out details. So I can't talk more in the podcast right here, but I can hopefully talk more on that on the Thursday webinar, but got the right people on there to go out there and scale the channel. This is not brand new stuff we're doing. This is all, you know, workflows and funnels and scripts and conversations and uh, marketing techniques and real estate techniques, all the stuff that we've been doing for years now, all we were doing is simply scaling it. And yes, we'll have a couple of growing pains, that's all normal stuff, but like the idea is proven, uh, the model is proven. We just need money to go out there and invest it. And then, you know, real estate pipeline is not a, you know, we're not selling $20 ebook or a supplement. It's gonna take, you know, six months to 12 months to really build out the pipeline. And from this last year, you know, when we really hit the go button uh, last year with Property Llama and building this out, it's looking like about a year is when the f pipeline really starts humming. So we are planning on, uh, as we raise this money, to have two years of resources needed to go out there and grow these channels, to go out there and effectively build the pipeline to where it takes for people to start hate transacting and, and understanding this and making the appropriate plans. Because nothing in real estate moves at hyper speed. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we have to figure out. And it's also just a slow moving beast, which is fine. We just have to uh, prepare for it in the proper ways. And we are. All right. So I have rambled on a little bit more than I intended to in this podcast. But hopefully you're seeing that, uh, number one, my excitement for this. And I think for a lot of people follow closely, you're starting to see a lot of these different dots get connected on here that we've been working on. And if we're able to raise the money and just grow Property Llama and grow the marketing, grow the sales channels, we're gonna have uh, just such an amazing collaboration of ideas, of people, of techniques that I feel like this will be the jolt that takes us to being a billion dollar company. Now, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take hard work. I'm preparing for a couple of black guys. I know all that, but we have the blueprint. We have the winning recipe. We just have to go out there and invest more resources and repeat, 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 and follow the plan. And guess what? We'll get results. So I love talking about this stuff. If you want more details, check out the webinar. And also I've been talk talking with my team. We'll probably be setting up some type of like text newsletter as well for people that want to talk more about like business growth and fundraising. I've had so much fun connecting with people uh, throughout these podcasts last couple weeks. I want to keep that conversation going. Uh, but that does not belong long-term on the Denver Real Estate Investing Podcast. Anyway, if you want more details, uh, reach out to me, or better yet, come to the webinar on Thursday. We'll see you then.